let's say you wanted to use this as a reference but you didn't want to quite use the exact pose but it gave the, the same vibe that you're going for first thing you want to do is to get the general feel of the body down if you're just starting out it's best to trace over the actual reference you're doing to build the shapes that you will be using in your piece you can also try to change it for a little challenge like how I'm changing the legs. If you do art enough, you'll be able to change poses and stuff relatively easy without finding a bunch of references or even like changing the outfit. Once you build up enough of a visual library, you'll be able to know how these things work naturally, but it's still best to use reference photos to make sure you know exactly how things work because I don't know if you're like me or not, but I can't always rely on my own memory. So after you got the basic build down, you can do your sketch over it. So you could have it layered and lower the opacity and then you'll draw the sketch of how you want it over it. You can tell, especially in the skirt area, even though I planned on doing a long skirt, I still drew where the legs would actually go. It just helps so that when you draw the clothes, you can see where certain creases are. For example, you can see the general crease here where the legs join together and the crease here which is the cloth folding on itself where the leg is bending. The knee is pulling the cloth towards it, all, all towards the knee. And if you need, you can get a reference for a close like this to kind of figure out how certain things work. For example, if you are not used to tucking your shirt in, you might not know how many wrinkles actually happen when you tuck it in like this. Or if you are not familiar with long dresses, you might not know that thick ones will bunch up like this, or a thin one might cling to the leg even closer. Closer. So make sure you get lots of references for whatever you need. You could get 50 references, one for each type of clothing, like a reference for the shirt, reference for the skirts, or multiple references for each thing, just to make sure that you get the right image that you're going for. I hope this helped you get a general idea on how to figure out posing. I know it's relatively simple and not that complicated of a tutorial, but honestly, as long as long as you have pictures to go off of, you can build yourself a new piece. Just make sure that you're looking at the reference in a way that you absorb why it looks the way it is. Like, why do the clothes bend here? Why does this angle work like this? What is this shape? Because that way you'll build your visual library so that you can draw whatever you want, whenever you want. Thanks for watching. I got more tutorials coming soon. Bye bye.